Today I want to show you how to change the colors, fonts, sizes of elements in your Shopify store in a specific section only. Now, why is this helpful? Well, let's say that your call to action button um, is transparent right now and you go to your color setting formulas and you go to your color settings and you can't find the place to actually change just the call to action button, the buy, the add to cart button. Well, Shopify has given you an option to just change that right there. Um, it does require a little bit of code, but it's not rocket science and I think you can do it. So let's jump right in. Now, I do wanna give you that example for the call to action or the add to cart button on the product page. But before we get to that, um, I do wanna show you a couple other ways uh, that you can use this custom CSS section. Now, I have a fresh Dawn theme 9.0 version right here. We're gonna click on customize so we can see what we're talking about. Now what I'm talking about is for each of these sections right here. So for example, this image banner, I can click on it and then scroll all the way to the bottom. And then you see this new custom CSS section. It's gonna be collapsed so you can actually click on it. And as you can see, you can add custom styles to this section only, meaning that it's for this alone. If you don't want to change the, for example, the heading color, the font color on all of the H2s all over the website, then you don't have to do that. You know, you can do it just from right here. Now, alternatively, this is what you normally do. You go to theme settings and then you go to colors. And then in here you have like just your main colors, main colors, secondary colors. But this, this usually handles a lot of different colors all over the website. So let's jump in to the first thing that I wanna do, which is changing a font color. Now, as you can see right here, we have, um, let's go and do it for this rich text, right? So we have this talk about your brand heading right here, and we want to change that, let's say to a green, but we only want this heading right here to change no other heading or no other font uh, right here within, within the home page. So uh, we can click on this rich text section, and then in here, you'll see the custom CSS. Uh, very important to know that this will only work for the main section if we go into this element inside of the section, we won't have that custom CSS showing right here. So you wanna make sure that you are on the main section link, if you will. So custom CSS, and then in here, inside of this box, they already written something for you, just kind of as an example of the formatting that needs to happen, but that's just like nothing. If you start typing, you can get rid of it. Now, I will say that once you start typing, they will give you options that are, are available for this particular section. So if we start typing H2, which I think that's an H2, then it kind of gives me the option there for slash H2. If I get rid of that and I start typing something crazy like, I don't know, color or something, you see there's no options, there's no drop down. See if I do div, it kind of shows me like there's a div. So this will kind of guide you into what's available here. Now, something that I like to do, and this is just like the whole setup right here. I know we're still gonna change the color of the font. I'm using the Google Chrome browser. I like to open the, the website on a new tab and then just you can highlight or you can click on this and then click on uh, right click, inspect. And this will also give you just a clear understanding of what this particular thing is right here. So as you can see, we have the H2 class, rich text. We have this class as well. And then we have this class, but the actual class for the, uh, the H2 element is all this right here. So this is technically the class name for that particular element. But I do think because it is it's just an H2 as sort of the main, I think we'll be able to use that. Let's copy this. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it on BB text. This is just like a quick and simple HTML editor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the brackets, hit enter, hit enter again. In here, I'm gonna do color, do colon. Let's just type in black for now and let's copy all this. Okay, so this will give you the, the option here. So sometimes this doesn't work, but in terms of this example, what we I think we need to do is just type in H2, since we know that is the only H2 heading in this section. And then instead of just typing in green, let's look for the actual hex code color for green. Grab this green right here, we're gonna copy that. Okay, so I think we didn't need the actual period in front of it. Um, like I said, sometimes you do need the period and actually having the class name, but for this H2, um, we don't necessarily need it. So we've added the, the hex code color in here, um, H2, and as you can see, that right there is green right now. So let me click save on that so you guys can see. So you see we scroll, and now we can see that text right here, it's green. 
Now let's say we wanted to do the same thing, but we want to change the font size and make it maybe a little bit bigger, right? So let's go to this right here, heading size. We actually have a few options in here, but again, it's not as granular as maybe we would like it to be. So even this extra large, to me, it's like, okay, no, I want it bigger than that. In order to do that, we just use the, the exact same uh, code that we have in here. But what we can do is like, we're, manip we're still manipulating this H2. So we've manipulated the color. So we can actually do something like the font size as well. Font size. And let's do, I don't know, something crazy. 72 pixels. Is that crazy? Let's do more. Let's do... Wow, that's really big. Probably don't need it to be, to be that big. But again, it gives you the option to do colors, do font sizes, and do a lot of different things. Like I said, technically, if we go back over here to the classes here and they inspect the element. Once you have the element selected, which is this right here, you can kind of see over here things that you could potentially change. So like the margin top, you know, it's a zero. Margin bottom is a zero. So like there's a lot of different things in here that obviously Shopify is taking care of in the back end. But you can come in here and uh, let's say like the word break. You don't want to do the word break. Like you can copy this, paste it, and then make it so that in just this section, you can change that. I don't know if I completely said this out loud but the reason why i like to use the bb text edit and start from there what i've noticed like a lot of times if i'm like entering here and i'm starting to type you can see the progress bar at the top is already trying to save so it can get a little bit tricky um, you making changes and like trying to type in things and backspace because at the same time shopify is automatically saving that for you a lot of times what i found is that i need to go to a text editor or have a word doc open and this i have bb edit and type everything that I need to type in there, copy it, and then just paste it uh, right within here. And then I can save it and it will showcase right here. Now, another common problem that I see on some stores, and I've actually done this to some stores, is spacing. So changing the spacing is also something that you might want to manipulate on a individual section basis, right? So something very common that happens is a lot of times you may be adding sections towards the bottom here of your website. Uh, you may be adding third party apps, for example, like a Instagram highlight reel or something. And the spacing sometimes is weird, right? You may have just really good spacing throughout the rest of the sections because they're built in within the theme. But the this third party app that jumps in here at the very end um, may look a little bit weird because the spacing is just based off of the actual app and not the store. So things that you could do is, for example, like and typically what I see is like, there's spacing all throughout these sections, but then when it comes to the footer, you may have an app right here that the, there's no space in between that app and the actual footer. So something that you could do is like, you could go to the footer and try to add more margin to the top. So that way you actually can create some, some more separation. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, as you can see right now, there's just a little bit of spacing here. Let's pretend that there's no spacing at all and then we need to add a lot more. So I'm just gonna add a lot more spacing just so we can kind of see the dramatic effect here. So something that, again, I like to do, I like to come back over here, um, look at the section that I'm trying to, to manipulate, right click on it, click inspect. And then right within here, the first, or I guess the, the main section really that we're looking for um, is this right here. So this all sort of breaks down into different div blocks. So this footer is what we're looking for. And actually right here, margin top, we have 36 pixels. So I'm actually going to, let's see if I can copy all this. I'm gonna paste it into my handy dandy BB edit. And then let's manipulate that to, let's say 150 pixels. Now this will be the real test whether or not we need that dot or not. So um, let's go back over here, click on our footer, custom CSS, and then right within here, let's go ahead and paste that. Okay, so in that instance, we did need that dot. And you can see like it added that extra, probably 150 pixel margin, right? And again, we don't necessarily need all that spacing, but spacing is important in order to align things differently within your website. I can do this with just the main footer section, but you can actually do this for a lot of different sections and a lot of different things. So if you wanted more spacing in between, you know, some of the text in here, um, or from the subscribe to that box, or you wanted less spacing, um, you can definitely manipulate that on a, you know, per section and even per element uh, basis. So very simply, that's how we have that in there. Um, now, I think what you've been waiting for is the call to action button. So let's go ahead and go to our product page so we can go ahead and change that button. Now, if you like what you see so far, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, hit the like button. It really helps us out a lot. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go to a product page and we're going to right click 
and look at the actual class name for that particular button. So I do think that we can just literally grab the main just button, literally. Um, and I think that would make that one button just change. So let's go ahead. So if I click on buy buttons, as you can see, there, there's no option for me to change the colors or change anything about it. But if we go to product information, we see our custom CSS section right here. So let's go ahead and try the, just that class, just the button class. Like I said, sometimes you, you can just use a simple class like this. Other times you have to go to the inspector and look into the actual class name. Cause again, depending on, we're using Dawn theme, so it's a little bit more simple if you will. But there are other team themes out there that the class name might not be just button. It might be button underscore main call to action underscore whatever. So it might be more, even more class names, right? So for example, this one right here on the top, um, it had multiple class names for one particular element. And that could happen a lot where you might just need to put them all right here with spaces. Sometimes it also just works doing just that main class name. And again, because you're just manipulating that particular section, um, that should work. So we're gonna do button. Let me see back over here on the inspector. So this will also give you a good idea of things that you can change or manipulate. So for example, the font size, the letter spacing, line height. So what I'm looking for is whether I need like background color or just color, this will give you the option here. So as you can see, like it looks like color might be just the text color. And then we need background color uh, to replace the actual color. So we might need both um, depending on the color that we use for the background. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste it right here. And then let's see. So we have right now a call to action that is just transparent. It's a transparent button and I don't care for the buy, but buy now button. I want the add to cart button to be the, the, the one that's actually popping. So we're actually gonna do some kind of orange or not yellow, that's, that's way too much. Let's do this amaranth color here. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna put it into the BB text. I'm gonna do the, I guess the hashtag is already in there. A semicolon to close it out and let's test this out. Boom, as you can see, um, we have the red color. So now the add to cart button is the most prominent button in this product page. And that's exactly what we want right here. Now, I do think that we need to get the, the text color to be white. So if I'm not mistaken, I can do color. I think I can type in white and yeah, that works. That looks beautiful. So as you can see, now we actually have the ability to manipulate certain elements right within your sections. And this is super, super, super awesome because in the past we were not able to do this or it was a lot harder, required a lot of different things, a lot of moving parts. Uh, but right now we can just do it right here from the customizer, which is great. Now, if you have any additional questions on this particular topic, let me know in the comments below because I know you will have some very specific questions. And I try to give you uh, some, just some good examples, some easy examples. Obviously there's gonna be way more complex things that you can do with it. But these examples are things that I think a lot of you want to make sure that it happens um, and you maybe not know how. So this video should help you out with that. As always, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. We'll see you on the next one.